some of you men may find yourselves waking up three or four times during the night and having to go for a, a widdly wee in the lavy loo. Symptoms that could spell the need to have a little further investigation and make sure things are okay. Some people can't even get halfway through a rock concert without being in the <laughs> Yes, I am, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what's your name? Tom. Tom, where are you from? Just over there. I think you're going the wrong way. Tell me what, though. Climb up on the stage here. Chris is going to look after you. Come on, old chap. You're going to make it. You try. Yeah, he's going to do it. Make sure he's okay, right? And um, the other thing I suppose I need to complete this little this little example of how easy this medical checkup can be. It's, uh, it's a doctor. Anybody, uh, anybody a doctor here? It just looks like a doctor. Would like to, would like to be a doctor. It's never the guy who volunteers. I like the look of you. You're my doctor tonight. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he has the gravitas of the medical profession about him if anyone ever did. So tell me, what's your name? Tom. Tom! <laughs> Dr. Tom and patient Tom. And you've been very patient indeed. Good to see you. And I will get you to put the, um, the doctor's white coat on. Just to add a little more authenticity, we're going to add the silky smooth surgical latex glove. <laughs> Slip that one, yes. <laughs> he looks worryingly like he's done this before. <laughs> that could be a good sign, other Tom. Ryan, take them off behind the modesty screen at the back there. So we don't want this to be too graphic, do we? Yes, no. Well, think yourselves lucky I was. Originally, I thought I would show you my colonoscopy video. <laughs> Which is a little graphic even for you guys. Now then, they should be appearing behind the modesty screen any second. And demonstrate how easy the prostate exam will be. There is uh, Tom from over there dropping the drawers, and Dr. Tom, no relation with the gloved finger, ready to not be expired. Well, you get the hang of it. It's over in a flash. It's really easy, and it hardly hurts at all, honestly. Uh, okay, they're coming back, and it looks like everything okay. Nothing sinister up there, was there, Dr. Tom? Thank you so much for doing it. Not a chance. <laughs> And Tom, from over there, how did that work out? Was it painful? It was okay, yeah. yeah. It was really okay. Going to do the same thing again next year? Definitely, yeah, yeah. Going to seek out the attention of Dr. Tom again? He's a bit rough. He's a bit rough, actually. <laughs> He'll get better with practice. Yeah, you know, an audience this size. In an audience this size, there will be somewhere between 50 and 60 men, statistically speaking, 50 and 60 men here tonight who will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in your lifetimes. So ladies, look around you, send that man sitting next to you, send him off to the doctor tomorrow. Don't waste another day, get that medical check done up, save a life, it could be his. Not like some of these poor people we used to know, love and cherish.